We are so excited that you guys had an amazing holiday season, but we are also really excited to be back here with you. Aren't we? Hmm? What you doing over there? Well, it's National Bittersweet Chocolate Day today, so naturally, I'm preparing for the celebration. Let's check out our big idea. Responsibility. Showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Let's say it together. Responsibility. Showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. Would you like to introduce our segment? Would I? <laughs> Do you even have to ask? That's what I just did. Well, I mean, isn't it the best segment ever? Welcome, stories of Grandma. I'm Grid, and these are a bunch of kids who love stories. Hey, 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 hold Ready? on. I gotta, I gotta fix your mic really fast. We gotta. No, Grandma, no, no, I need no, no. my wrist. Grandma's ready. Everything's good. It's okay. Welcome to Stories of the Grandma. Actually, Kyle, I'm just one second. We to fix your highlighting. Just what? No, get the tiny bro away from my face. Get the tiny it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Welcome to Stories of the Grandma. I'm Grandma. And these are a bunch of children who love really stories. Ah, it's too bright. Who put the sun three inches away? Turn it down. Turn it down. Yeah. Grandma's old vision cannot take it when the sun gets that close. It's too bright. Welcome to Stories of the Grandma. I'm Grandma, and these are about the children. Hey, hey do not touch, it? do not touch the children. They're sweet pies and no angels. Do not fix Grandma's mic. Do not fix Grandma's makeup. Do not fix the light, the sun's too close. And most of all, do not touch Grandma's children. They're little sweet pies. I love them. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Stories of Grandma. I'm Grandma, and these are a bunch of kids who love stories. Once upon a time. Go, Grandma! Go, Grandma! Go, Grandma! Go! Children, little angels, where'd you go? Grandma needs help. I can't feel my toes. Okay, why are you eating a lemon with chocolate? I told you, it's National Bittersweet Chocolate Day. So I have bitter and sweet. It's game time. What is going on guys? I am back with another game today and I want to invite my good friend Switch to come on up. Come on up Switch. Yes, Switch. All right you guys, today is a very special day because it is actually Switch's birthday. Everybody no say happy birthday Switch. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Switch. Birthday, Switch. All right, and today we have a special tradition. I am going to give him a good old birthday toss. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. What we're gonna be doing today is called Color Scheme, where they have a bunch of Skittles right here, and they have to sort them with all of the colors. They have a bunch of cups here with a certain color on them. What they're gonna do is they are gonna sort them in any way possible, and they have to put them in the right cup. If it's in the wrong cup, then it doesn't count, okay? Whoever sorts them all first wins. We have Molly and Maddie here. Are you ready, Maddie? So ready. All righty, are you ready, Molly? Of course. All right, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, go, 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 go. Oh man, we're starting off at a good start. They have two completely different ideas. Whose idea is gonna be better? They're doing very close. They got it, they got it, they got it. Oh man, it looks like one of them is pulling ahead just a little bit. Oh man, oh man, it's getting close, it's getting intense, it's getting intense. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Molly has a more variety of colors, but I think Maddie is in the lead right now. Maddie's in a small lead right now. All right, it's getting so intense. Okay, here we go, here we go. Why here we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, no. oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I don't even oh, know my man. colors oh, anymore. Oh man, oh man, it's getting intense. It's getting crazy. What? Oh my gosh. Oh man, no, we're winning. down to our last stretch. Are you coming? Our last stupid? stretch. Our last stretch, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 let's make sure, let's make sure real quick, real quick. Red, boom, orange, yellow, green, and purple. There it is, 
Our winner here is Maddie. We had so much fun playing this game. At least I did. But sadly, we have to go. And I want you to get your game on. High five, guys. High five, high five, high five. Boom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another round of Life Size Hungry Hungry Hippos? Let's bring out our players! Woo! I want you! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Players, take your positions! I'm ready. You ready, chicken? All right! Here we go, panda. Show them what we made it. Oh yeah, that's good center of gravity. Get ready! Get set, go! Ha! Got you. Ha! Yes! Yes! All of them! Mine! And not yours! I am better! I am superior! You are not! Oh, Steven's looking like he's ahead! Oh, Lawson's really Steven moving across the champions. floor! Come on, here we go, come on! They're the neck and neck! And... you on the right! All the way across the floor, the panda's really raking him across the coal. Steven's moving for the last big one. Oh, I got the big oh, ball. The basketball, basketball, basketball. Uh, yeah. You got the, where was that one? Steven wins. Woo! That's not bad. I didn't even see the big one. Uh, fine. Look at that. I'll spot you a point. You All can right. have that one. Man, I didn't want anyway. Win. Cause he won. That's a good one. Okay, win. What's next? What's up? Now it's time for Life Size Jumanji. Nope, I'm out. Hey everybody, I'm Lawson. And I'm Steven. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. Oh, look at that. A comic book falling from the sky. It's a literary miracle. Yeah, more like a out of control comic book collection. What? No, 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 no. Don't say that. They'll hear you. Who? The drawings? Shh. Okay, seriously, Lawson, can you please explain what's going on here? What? A guy can't like comics? This is not liking comics. This is preventing us from being able to do literally anything on the show today. Not true! <laughs> Look, these comics are all the same. Yeah, Frog Defenders of Saturn, issue number 106. It says 109. It's a misprint, and that's what makes it more valuable. Wait a minute, are you, are, are you telling me that all of these are Frog Defenders of Saturn, issue 109? 106. Why? Because they're mine, Stephen. They're all mine! But if they're all yours, that means nobody else can have one. Precisely! How much did all this cost you? Oh, um, a lot. And you think this is a wise investment? Oh yeah, no, my investment coach is completely on board with my fiscal choices. What? <laughs> How do you know the word fiscal and also your investment coach? Yes. Why don't you welcome someone who knows stuff? Welcome to the show, Mr. Money Man! Ah, hello there, Lawson. Greetings, Stephen. Hello, Mr. Mr. Money... Mr. Money Bags, that is correct. <laughs> oh, I love money. <laughs> you friend. ever play Monopoly? Oh, I love having Monopolies. Oh. Okay, well, we know who you are, so why don't you tell us what you know? Oh, of course. It's all in the name, my boy. It's all in the name. <laughs> That's my friend. You're gonna, you're gonna have to be more specific. I know money! Bags and bags of money. <laughs> With money, anything you want is yours for the taking and for the keeping. Remember that, Lawson, my boy. Exactly, right, yes, and I've been applying what you taught me to my comic book collection. Ooh. All for me, and yes, it's true, I want all the comics show Oh, well, for you. Ah, bravo, bravo. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> Larson, whenever a friend asks me for a favor, do you know what I tell them? Oh, yeah, I know this one. You say, I tell them no. All right, I tell them no. You don't need friends or favors in this life. Remember that all you need is pennies, quarters, and dollar bills raining from the sky. Those are your real friends. But <laughs> you do have friends that are that are real people, though, right? Right. Oh, of course I do. Of course I do. 
If you consider Mr. Franklin and Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> oh, hello there, Mr. Hamilton. Oh, you're looking mighty green today. Well, thank you, Mr. Franklin. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Is this my future? <laughs> oh, 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 by the way, thank you for inventing electricity. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, and thank you for not throwing away your opportunity. <laughs> okay, it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> I need more of these. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen, what do you have for us today? Well, today we are looking at a parable that Jesus taught, sometimes called the parable of the rich fool. Did somebody say rich? Yeah, I did. Mr. Mr. Uh, Archibald Moneybags, son. Mr. Archibald Moneybags. But you, you may call me Mr. Moneybags. Okay, Mr. Moneybags. Clearly, you're rich, but the person in the story was also a... Oh, no, no, I'd be happy to help you tell your little story there, son. And, mark my words, you won't regret it. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, anyway, a parable, if you didn't know, is a story that has a lesson at the end. Jesus used stories sometimes to help people see what he was talking about in different ways. On this occasion... Jesus was teaching when someone said, Teacher, tell my brother to give me half the stuff that belongs to our family. Now, they must have been having an argument over something about, like, who has the most stuff. So Jesus said, Watch out. Be on your guard against wanting to have more and more things. Life is not made up of how much a person has. Then Jesus tells them a story. There once was a rich man. <laughs> Oh, I will add this to the 25 smackaroos I won in that beauty contest. One year, his land produced a very large crop. <sighs> Look at all of my crops. <laughs> Stupendous. But what should I do? I don't have anywhere to store all of these crops. And there is no way I could use all of these crops in just one season all by myself. <laughs> what to do? What to do? Light bulb! <laughs> I will take all of my barns and tear them down. Wait for it. Tear them down. But then build bigger ones. <laughs> And then I will store all of my crops in these newer, larger barns. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I have plenty of crops, and these crops are going to last me for a long time. I mean, many, many years long time. So I should probably just take life a little easy. I suppose I'll just eat mm. and drink. And have a really good time. <clears throat> but God said to him, You foolish man, tonight I will take your life away uh, from you. Well, then who will get what you have no. prepared for yourself? No! no! Oh, my cord! Ah! <laughs> oh, there's so many bulls! Ah! Dead. To be clear, there were no, and I repeat, no inflatable kiddie pools in Jesus' story. But the rich man did die, and he never got to enjoy all the crops he had stored away for himself. Then Jesus said, that is how it will be for whoever stores things away for themselves, but is not rich in the sight of God. The end. Wow. That was quite the ending. Yeah. I think the point Jesus was trying to make is that we only have so much time here on earth. Do we want to spend it caring about all the stuff we have? Or do we want to spend our time caring for the people we love? Yeah, 
instead of keeping all the crops to himself, the rich guy could have shared with the people around him. And I think that's what Jesus meant when he said we should be rich in the sight of God. I think you're right. And that sounds like my job is done here. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Kellen. Bye, Kellen. Steven? Yes, Lawson? I think I might be hoarding comic books. <laughs> might be? I don't want to die like a rich fool in Jesus' story. I don't want to end up friendless and alone. I'm your friend. Not now, Steven. I have to do something. What should I do? What should I do? I don't... <gasps> Light bulb. Reveal the question. What do you have that you can share? Comic books. Yeah. I have so many. <gasps> you get a comic. You get a comic. You get a comic. You get a comic. Lawson? You get a comic. Thank you. What do you have that you could share? Could be stuff you have, or you could share your time or your talents. It's our responsibility to share what we have, and it's one of our rules for life. Share what you have. Talk about what you have to share with each other. And we'll see you next week. I'm Steven. And I'm Lawson. And this was the So and So Show. Bow, 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 bow. Hello. It's not about money anymore for me. No, oh, no, not, not at all. I'm going to share from now on. Yes. Sharing is caring. I'm going to change my name even. I changed my name. It's, it's not Mr. Moneybags anymore, no. See, it's gone. In fact, uh, my name is Mr. Empty Pockets. That's right. I'm Mr. Empty Pockets now because I, I give away so much money that my pockets are empty. Hello? Okay, I see that you finally figured out that bittersweet chocolate is not chocolate dipped in lemon juice. Yeah, it isn't. It was kind of silly. Yep. But I figured it out now. Caleb, no! <gasps> Too late! See you next time on Roop! Oh my gosh, Caleb, no!